Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, something that I get loads of questions about myself um, from you guys, which is Gear Fear. We've all had it, but why don't we have it anymore? And some people just stick with it. They can't shake it. It's something we need to talk about a little bit. And I'm going to give you my tips on what I did when I had Gear Fear and how I kind of lost it because some of this stuff is actually quite straightforward and hopefully it will make sense to you guys. As you can see, um, we are currently down quite a bit, but we are very close to Kappa. So that's just a little bit of an update on where we are on the streaming account. If you want to watch the streams, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Nowadays, I stream as much as I can to show you guys some gameplay. <laughs> Let's jump into the topic of today, which is gear fear. Now, what is gear fear? It's basically the fact that you go in geared, um, but you're very afraid of losing that gear and it makes you do dumb stuff, which actually you end up dying because of the things you do wrong, which you might not do on a scav run. But that's the biggest thing people tell me. I do much better on the scav than on a PMC. This has two reasons. One is gear fear. The other one is the flow of the map is different on the scav run because not everyone is in their designated spawn point at the start of your match. The spawn points we're not going to talk about today. We all know I hate the spawns as they are right now. And I think they need to change and it will actually make the game a lot better. But that's a topic for another day. So when it comes to gear fear, um, I feel like there's two kinds of gear fear. One is you're actually just afraid and it makes you rat when you have very good gear. And the other one is you're not necessarily afraid. Um, but it does make you have bad... How do you call it? It makes you make bad decisions. It causes you to make bad decisions. And that's basically because people feel like they're invincible when they have their gear on. Um, I'm not going to talk about that particular type of gear here um, because I feel like you're just being dumb. And this is something you can realize yourself and you just need to work on that. Basically, you just have to become better at the game. So let me just tell you how I actually got rid of my gear here. It was very simple. Number one is just play the game a ton because the more you know about the game, the more you know about making money and the more you realize that even losing a 1 million ruble loadout is not that big a deal if you know how to make the money back. Because fact is, you can actually make a million rubles quite easily. So even if you lose a slick and like an HK and whatever, it's not that big a deal. Number two is learn which weapons you really like, which aren't actually breaking the bank as much as, let's say, in HK. One of my favorites, let's just look at it right here. Um, this is a little bit of a bonus, is the AKM Abigail. This was named by a viewer on the stream. This is my absolute favorite gun at the moment. And as you can see, if you find parts, if you have the traders unlocked, it is 245,000 rubles and $300. We're going to buy that. We'll just assemble it straight away. Hopefully it works. No, it does not. This is something they need to fix as well in the game. That it actually just moves the weapon when you try to build a preset. Uh, hopefully they keep that in mind. And as you can see, here we have one Abigail AKM. Now, tip number two I have is just go back into your presets. Go back into the AKM tab. Go back into Abigail. Assemble. Or excuse me, find parts. Purchase all. Yes. Go back into your inventory. Put it there. Presets. Souls Rifles. AKM. Abigail. Open. Assemble. Boom. Select. As you can see, now we have two. When I had gear fear, I would make and buy 10 of the exact same loadouts. I would just do runs, make money. And then when it was time to go in geared, because if you don't know, you can easily make a lot of money without any gear, except for a hunter and like, let's say one of these level four body armors we have here. This is my go-to. I would just go out, make two million rubles and buy like 10 of these AKMs for like two and a half million, whatever. And then all these TV rigs or troopers or tactics, I would buy 10 loadouts 
and just go in geared. Now, you might think, why does that even matter? The fact is, if you die, you still have nine of the same loadouts. So you're not going to be that fussed about it. It's not going to be that big a deal compared to, hey, I have this one really cool weapon, right? Let's say I use this one sniper. I only have one of. This one costs like 350k and I die. It's gone. And I don't have the same one to use anymore. So this is something I really recommend you doing. This is the biggest thing that got me over my gear fear. Because 100% if you have 10 of the same loadouts and you lose one, then it doesn't really matter. Number three, if you do this... Your gear fear will slowly just start to fade away because of the fact that you realize that when you actually take in more gear, the chances of you not dying and getting out of that raid is actually much higher than if you go in with a wrath loadout. Especially if you get into fights. Now, I am a big fan of staying away from fights. Let's say do your customs loot run, which is on this channel, or the interchange loot run, or whatever. We have like six, seven, eight loot runs on the channel. Um, if you do those, I wouldn't recommend taking in all this very good stuff. But if you do, even if you do those loot runs, you will just have a higher survival rate. Just because of the fact that you have a very good um, armor, helmet, and weapon. And that means that it will even be easier to make money. So at some point, you will associate bringing in a lot of gear with having more of an opportunity to stay alive. Because bringing in sick gear no longer let you do stupid stuff and you just feel comfortable with it now this is one of those weapons that i like because it's it's not bank breaking because the bp ammo is not actually that expensive bp is 745 right now if you buy it from prapple compared to like m995 which is 1499 rubles last time i checked and it those hks and m4s have a very very high uh, firing rate much higher than the 600 rpm on an ak so the complete loadout with an akm is definitely a little bit cheaper um, than with a uh, hk so always keep that in mind as well tip number three ish is actually one you might not associate with gear fear but that is play in a team the amount of times i've played with let's say rex or whoever one of the guys from the stream um and i died and they actually got my stuff out with them is insane most of the time if you go in two man three man um the chances of one of your team surviving is very very high they either dump your insured stuff in a bush or they just take it with you with them not you because you're dead you know it's it's insane it definitely helps and this way you can actually risk less while still getting used to using very expensive loadouts and that's the number one thing the more you go in with sick gear the easier it will become for your brain to just associate that with tarkov instead of tarkov on steroids risking loads of money now i really hope this is something you guys will try out and this is something you guys will um let me know about in the comment section down below how did you lose your gear fear are you still struggling with gear fear is there anything i can do a video i can make to help you guys with that then i would love to see that in the comment section down below for today i'd like to thank you guys a lot for watching um the youtube channel has just been taken off completely lately and um it's really nice for me to see that my content is actually speaking to a couple of tag of players so thank you guys for watching please subscribe and like the video if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video eddie out